All right, if you haven't made weekend plans yet, we're going to start making them right now with you. There's a lot of going on in L.A. this weekend, and joining me to talk about it is Michael Giuliano from Time Out L.A. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Thanks for having me here. Yes, it's a pleasure. Um, it stopped raining, or it looks like the rain's going away, so the options really are endless this weekend. Let's start with, uh, is it called Wine Dine L.A.? Uh, Dine L.A. Dine L.A. Oh, wait, I know, I know this. Yeah. This is the win Okay, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> so basically, this is uh, two weeks of prefix meals at over 400 restaurants right. all around oh, the city. That's right. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Yeah. So basically, you, you can still go to your favorite spot and order off the menu as normal, but you can also go in and get these preset menus where you're paying like a pretty reasonable price for dinner or lunch. Uh, you know, it's everything from there's Castaway in Burbank, which is this really romantic mm. hilltop restaurant. Mm -hmm. um, you know, for like $59, you can get all the fanciest stuff on their menu. But then there's other reasonable things, right? Um, uh -huh. Mamsur in Silver Lake, that's another one of our favorites on the list. You can get a Filipino brunch for $25. Comes with a mimosa too. Mm -hmm. uh, or Ms. Chi, which is a dumpling spot in Culver City. For $15, you can get what they're calling a dumpling feast, which sounds pretty delicious that if you sounds, ask me. <laughs> yeah, I love dumpling, dumplings. Who does it? I'm legit writing these down because I'm going to go to, every year I want to go to this and I don't, I might, I might have made it to one, uh, one year. I'm guilty of the same, Are to you, be yeah, honest. Yeah, it's, it's hard, it's hard. Right? But if you miss this one, it does come up again in the summer. Okay, oh, okay, that's good to know. I'm gonna definitely, you, you want me with a hilltop restaurant. <laughs> Um, so I might have to do that. All right, there is a, a, not sort of an exhibit, but something that focuses on uh, female directors at Aero Theater. By the way, have never heard of Aero Theater LA. I love it. I learn something new every day. But with all this conversation with um, the Oscars coming up and that female directors were not included, mm -hmm. this is um, doing that. Yeah, so this is actually the 15th year that this event occurs. Uh, American Cinematheque presents this every year. And the Arrow Theater, this is uh, a small movie theater in Santa Monica. Gotcha. Uh, but basically, it's a program of, I think, eight different shorts. And it's a mix of both award-winning ones and ones that are making their premiere. Uh, a lot of times, the director or people involved with the film will be on hand for sort of a, a post-discussion, short Q&A. And this is everything from Kit Bull, which mm -hmm. is this uh, Pixar short about a stray kitten and a pit bull. Or there's one in there called A Love Song for Latasha. I got to see a cut of this at a different event last year, and it's the most heartbreakingly beautiful thing I've seen about, uh, I, I really don't want to spoil anything, but the, this tragic yeah. friendship in South LA, and it's just incredibly moving. Uh, I highly recommend going to see this program. I'm already so overwhelmed because I already have plans this weekend and I already want to do the first two things we talked about. Um, I love being, living in LA for this reason. Okay, Dapper Day at LACMA, is that what it sounds like? You get all dressed up and go to the LACMA? Yeah, so Dapper Day, uh, they pop up at Disneyland, they pop up at LACMA. It's basically this gathering where you get dressed in fancy clothes. For a mm -hmm. lot of people, it's like, you know, roaring 20s kind of attire, mm -hmm. but you can really make it whatever you want. That is so cute. So, yeah, so for this occasion at LACMA, they're doing uh, an after hours party in the galleries. Now, it's free to attend. Last I checked, though, free tickets were sold out, but there uh -huh. will be a standby line starting at 6 o'clock. Oh, or, it's already sold out. But if you do want to go to the museum yeah. for the whole day and then stick around for the party, um, they're offering a ticket for like $25, which Admission to LACMA normally costs 20 yeah. so for the extra five, you're getting uh, expedited admission into the event, a free glass of champagne, and I think like a private lounge area. So if you want to make a full day of it at the yeah. museum, it's a pretty good deal. Or you can try your luck with the standby line. I love it. I mean, this is like, you can get so many great Instagram pictures. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I'm taking a break on Instagram, but if, if that's, you know, there's, it just looks beautiful to see people so, so dressed up. Okay, so the ice rink at Pershing Square, it's, it's been going on for a little while, right? What's going on this yeah. weekend? Well, it's the last weekend. Um, oh. Even though it's cold, even though it's the middle yeah. of winter, um, all of the ice skating rinks wind down this weekend. I think the only other one left other than Pershing Square is uh, ice in Santa Monica. But yeah, this is the last weekend at Pershing Square. It runs through Monday. Mm -hmm. um, just a heads up though, that Saturday is the Women's March. So if you're partaking in it, might be fun to go ice skating either before or after. Um, but do note if you try to go on Saturday, that would probably explain all the traffic in the area. Yeah, wow. 
There's so much to do. It's making me so happy. So much to choose from, you guys. All right, Michael, thank you so much. Where can people go to get more details on these events and so much more? Yeah, go to uh, timeout.com slash LA.